we leave for Central Africa. So that is probably the least explored of the big forests of the world. Congo Basin, mainly really because it's pretty hard to work there because the political situation is somewhere between bad and catastrophic. I went there to photograph our closest relative, the Bonobo. And um, it's kind of absurd how little we know about it, considering how close we are to it. So we're, we're closer to these guys than to chimpanzees, than to gorillas. And we don't know anything, what they actually do in the wild. And working with primates is really hard. The apes, you need to invest many, many years to really um, even start to think about taking, taking data. So when we started this, spent some time in a bonobo orphanage or kind of like a refugee camp where a lot of young bonobos, especially when they get confiscated because they try to sell them for pets while they shot the parents and sold them as bushmeat. So each of these baby bonobos gets a human mom that hangs out with them every day for 12 hours and until they're six or seven, and then you can start to integrate them into groups. This is David Quammen, the author of the story, <laughs> being under very serious examination. He's like, I think, this, I think this guy knows more about me than my dermatologist. <laughs> they have hilarious kids that are like very, very interested. Yeah, they're very playful. And of course, what bonobos are known for is the whole sex thing, that they have these super sexed monkeys, uh, apes. Uh, it turns out that is mainly like a zoo artifact. Because the whole sex thing has a, it has a social function. It is to release tension and to avoid conflict over really special food items. The type of food items that they don't really find in the wild, but that happens there three times a day. So there was plenty of that. Three times a day, it was really going crazy there. And then I spent 40 days with them in the wild. I saw sex twice. So it happens. It is a behavior they have, but it's hugely inflated in frequency by the fact that they get beautiful bananas and papayas three times a day.